Hey YouTube, it's Sly. I'm back. Uh, I've been so busy this summer, I really apologize for not uploading lately. I've got actually a bunch of videos that I do need to upload that I've had in the works for quite some time. They're about done in the editing process. Um, right now, it's the morning. I'm out walking. Yesterday, I was walking my dog. and This is just my neighborhood here. Um, I was walking my dog and I saw this little... I saw a CRT, and you see CRT TVs everywhere um, in my neighborhood, but this one was special. It was like a little baby, like a seven or a nine inch, like really small little CRT, and I'm moving into college soon, so that would actually be perfect for my purposes. So I'm going to see if I can uh, pick it up and fix it up, so I'm walking over to where I saw it, uh, coming up on a little elementary school here, so I'm going to put the camera away, but I'll get back to you guys when I get over to it. So now I'm uh, adjacent on the other side of this little elementary school. What I wanted to make a point of is over here on my left, there's a median in the middle of the road. And this is actually two separate roads on either side. You can see there's a double yellow line. Uh, what this is, is this is a bicycle path um, in my town. And I often use this to actually get to the local thrift store. Um, which I made a video on recently, so you'll probably see my video where I'm riding along this path uh, to get down to my thrift store. It's really nice. Um, some parts are shady, some parts aren't, but there's lots of trees. Uh, my town, you know, isn't the greenest place on earth. Um, my college is a lot more greener, but yeah, right now I'm adjacent from the little elementary school. Um, sorry, let me get by this truck here. Uh, and we're coming up on where I saw the TV. It's just around this corner. Um, so yeah, it's just a nice morning, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I made it back, and look what we have here. It's a Magnavox Smart Series. Uh, there's no cracks or anything on it anywhere, uh, which is fantastic, and that's why I went for it. Also because it has video ports right there, or else, you know, I can't use game consoles on it. But it's about, now that I think about it, it's like a 12-inch TV, so it's bigger than I thought, and my arms kind of hurt from carrying it all that way back. But uh, I plugged her in, and works. Works great. You know, I don't know if you're going to be able to see anything, but... Can you see the scan lines there? Oh, maybe if I put my shadow on it. Yep. Just because we're in the sunlight right now. But, yep, it's functional, and I'm going to clean it up and get it working. So, I made it, and I'll be right back when the finished result. Alright, guys, so I made it back. I'm in my room. I cleaned it up. Uh, and I found out a couple interesting things about this TV. One is that... Oh, wow, you can't see anything. Uh, that says AV right there, and you can get it in AV mode by simply changing the channel. If you go, you know, so say you're at channel 3, if you go 2, 1 is actually audio video. So I was scared that I would need to pick up a remote for this, uh, but I actually don't, and I've got it uh, hooked up. The other thing I found out about this TV is that it has a manufacture date of October 2006. So this is one of the last real CRTs I think that was probably ever manufactured. Um, so I'm expecting really, really good picture quality out of it. I am kind of close to my other main Panasonic right now. This is just way too big. I can't bring it to my college dorm. Um, so that's the purpose for picking this up. Uh, and I've got that all plugged in. Sorry, I don't know it's so dark. Uh, here's my PS2. Modded with a hard drive. And here we go. Sorry, my phone is picking up this video weirdly, but... You know, the picture is going to need to be adjusted. Uh, it doesn't look exactly right, but it has also left and right speakers which is fantastic uh, you usually don't get left and right audio on TVs this small um, and it looks pretty dang good although it is a little smushed let me get the controller here Oops. this is my hard drive mod 
I'm going to have to make a video on it. Essentially, uh, what it is, is there's a hard drive in my PS2, um, 80 gigabytes, and what I did is I ripped my uh, scratched up disks onto the hard drive, uh, and they run perfectly. You can see there's 20 gigs left, so let's start up Persona 4. Love this game. Really love this game. It takes a minute, but you can hear the hard drive thinking, and you can see the light down there. I meant to make a video on it. I think I did. But let's see how Persona looks on here. Oh, wow. Looks great. I mean, the picture is a little bit burned in because it was sitting out in the sun. Um, yeah, sorry, my phone is not ideal. Wow, that's loud. Holy cow. Wow. That looks fantastic for a CRT. The colors are so vibrant. Sorry, my hand's all shaky because I carried this thing several blocks. Oh, yeah. My guy's name is Super Hot Buttocks. Wasn't my idea. But, yep, here's Persona 4. You can see, yeah, the text is a little cut off, so I'm gonna have to adjust the TV's picture, but. Now I'm all set for college. Uh, that was a little CRT adventure. Thanks for watching, you guys, and stay tuned for more. Catch you later.